Hi everyone. Given that the pattern continues, write down the nth term suggested by the pattern. So basically, uh, when you see this positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, this is called an alternating sequence. So, and this is the basic one. And so if I write a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, a sub 5, a sub 6, I need to find a pattern. And what you're going to do is write it like this. You're going to write um, negative 1 to the n minus 1. All right? And let's go ahead and use parentheses instead. All right, so now this is one you need to memorize. It's either going to be uh, this one or it's going to be this one. So let's test a sub 1. So we're plugging in this one. If I plug in 1, a sub 1 equals negative 1 to the 1 minus 1. I get negative 1 to the 0. Well, anything to the 0 equals 1. All right? So the one we want to use is this one because we're starting at a positive 1. If we started at negative 1, we would want to use this one. So if I had a sub 1, um, I would write negative 1 to the first power. Where negative 1 to the first power is negative 1. All right, and if you did 2, a sub 2, you would get negative 1 squared, which is positive 1. So if you want to start negative, you'd use this one and start positive, use this one. So a sub 2 here would equal negative 1 to the 2 minus 1, which equals negative 1 to the first power, which equals negative 1, which would give us that one there. Memorize this. It looks kind of weird, but memorize it because... Um, you're going to have more difficult sequences where you want to be able just to know that you're either going to use this first one or this second one. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.